is Mark Greenwood. I'm the National Evangelist for Ealing Pentecostal Churches and I have the joy of being the Ealing Festival leader. This amazing festival. Oh yeah, S sorry I'm, I'm not really dressed, but this is what I wear when we're setting the festival up. I mean, it's been a nightmare. I'm telling you, the weather's been horrendous. We haven't got one of the marquees up. We haven't, we're, and we're, we really, really haven't. It's not, we haven't got the coffee shop up. We've got nothing up. We haven't got the kids' meetings set up inside the hub. We haven't got the dining area set up. There's no pizza ovens. It's been an absolute nightmare. I mean, there is a reason, and that's because it's Elim Festival Online. That's right, Elim Family Festival. We're online. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been to Elim Festival before, then we hope that through these next few days this weekend, that we'll be able to give you just a little tiny bit of all the things that you love about Ealing Festival, including my setup outfit. I mean, look, I've got my boots on. Hopefully, we can give you enough just to satisfy you. I know it's not going to do everything, but it'll just keep you going till next year when we're going to come back even stronger. We've got a fantastic program for you then. But if you're watching and you have never been to Ealing Family Festival, then I hope over the next few days that you can see enough of what we do to give you a flavour because we would love to see you at Ealing Family Festival 2021. We'll show you the dates at the end of this Ealing Family Festival online. But suffice it to say, welcome to Ealing Family Festival on time. We are praying that through everything that we do, through the fun, the worship, the teaching, the devotional stuff, the crazy stuff, that you'll have an amazing time and meet with God. Anyway, listen, I've, I've got to go and get changed because I can't, I can't keep hosting a meeting in my setup gear. But for now, it's over to Meg and she's going to give us a little bit of a rundown as to what you can expect over Elim Family Festival online. See you later. Thank you, Mark. Yes, I would love to update you guys on what is happening this weekend. But just be aware, there is a lot of information coming your way. So strap in get ready so you know that we're on the elim family festival facebook page we've also got the elim family festival youtube channel well this weekend we're also going to be on the national elim pentecostal churches youtube channel so that's three channels lots and lots of stuff we're mixing up pre-recorded live pre-recorded again live there's a lot but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it. So tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, myself and Elliot will be welcoming you from the Elim Festival field. We are then going to have some exercise with Kate and Anthony Jeremy. Forget Joe Wicks. This is top quality camping fitness and it's hard. <laughs> um, we have then got not one, but two devotionals. We've then got some live worship i'm thinking from the stone family we've then got a bible study we've then got a zoom call to discuss the bible study then at midday i'm gonna go live just to check everybody's okay three o'clock steve robinson's going live for family games i don't know what he's planned but just watch out it's gonna be fun then at seven o'clock we have an all-age service and bex is going to be speaking to us are you okay? Still with me? After that, open mic night with me. We've got lots of amazing stuff to show you in the open mic night. Then, Saturday's over. Sunday, nine o'clock again. Me and Elliot will be saying good morning from a field. We will then be doing some more exercise, if you're not too sore from the day before. Then we've got not one, two devotionals just for you we've got sarah whittleston going live to do communion with us we have then got our all age service at 11 o'clock and this is going to be broadcast to lots of churches in the north paul hudson's going to be speaking to us i'm going to go live at midday just to check you're okay and still with me three o'clock steve robinson is doing even more games and madness i expect and then in the evening at seven o'clock we have got our final all age service Mark Greenwood's going to wrap up for us and then afterwards we're going to hang out on Zoom. Did you get all of that? Is that okay? 
it's a lot i know it's a lot but whatever your situation if you're juggling with a family don't juggle with your family if you're juggling your timetable with a family juggling with work schedules and things like that just join us for a bit of it or a lot of it or all of it we'd love to see you we'd love to see your comments in the live chat we'd love to see your um camping pictures if you're camping in your garden or you've set up a fort in your living room remember to send us your pictures any queries any worries to elimfestonline at gmail.com that's elimfestonline at gmail.com we can email you a schedule we already have and you can see our schedule on the Elim Family Festival Facebook page. Blah, 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 blah. That's it. Join us for the fun. When I think of Elim Festival, I often think about the times of worship that we have here. It's a really key part of everything that we do, uh, putting God in his rightful place. And so we want that to be a part of Elim Festival online. So we're now going to have some worship led by Josh from the Junction team. And so let's just take a moment to prepare our hearts to worship and glorify our living Heavenly Father. Lord, as we worship you, even though we're at home in our living rooms, even though it might be a bit awkward, a bit uncomfortable, I pray that you will receive our adoration and our praise. I pray that your Holy Spirit will enable us to worship you. Amen. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, God, Holy Spirit. Minister to us, God, as we lift you high, as we worship you, as we lift you high, God. Speak to us, Lord. Draw us near to you. Draw us close to you, Holy Spirit. We, we want to be close to you, God. Jesus, Holy Spirit. We love you, God. We love you, God. You don't owe us anything, Lord Jesus, yet you make a way where, when we have no way, when we are struggling, when we face storms, you are the way maker. You work miracles. You do the impossible, Lord. We believe in you, Jesus. With whatever we are going through, we place it at your feet, Jesus. For you are great. You make a way. We worship you. We worship you. Our way maker. We're just going to sing that together. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. He's the light in our darkness. The one who is mighty to save. Shall we sing that together? Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who he is and he deserves our worship this morning. Let's sing that together, Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship. Touch 
touching every heart touching every heart I worship you I worship you you are here healing every heart healing every heart I worship you I worship you you are here turning lives turning lives around I worship you I worship you you are here mending every heart ending every heart I worship you I worship you Even when I don't see Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't feel it, you're working Even when I don't see it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop even when, even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, cause that is who that is who you are That is who you are oh, That is who you are That is who you are That is who you are Waymaker Waymaker Miracle worker Promise keeper And 
situations we face we can trust you with those situations so we lay those burdens down God and we lift you high we lift you high King Jesus for how incredible you are you are marvelous you are great there's no one like you God we praise you Jesus kids it's so lovely to see you oh we're so sorry that we couldn't be with you for real in our field that we're in there every year but today we are actually in my dining room and I've got a pretend field and lovely sky behind me um, and I'm on your screen which is so exciting and it's so lovely to see you so would you all like to wave at me wave at me hi hi it's so nice to see your lovely faces we have totally missed you and we are going to miss you this year so We've got together online so that I can tell you something really, really exciting. So last year I stopped being the Power Kids leader and this year we've got a brand new Power Kids leader and we're so excited to introduce you to her. So are you ready? Esther's going to do us a nice little fanfare. See if you can guess the song. <laughs> Yay! Can we see if we can find her? Deb, would you like to 
Nice to see ya. Yeah, we need to get you a t-shirt. Yeah, we do. T-shirt. Oh no, yeah, we do. There we go. I think you've got some face glitter. These are highly important things for power kids. I'll, I will put it on my to-do list for sure. So, do you want to wave to all the kids? Hi, kids. Nice to see ya. So, guys, I put some questions together <laughs> to talk to Debs, and I wondered what it is you might like to ask her. So. First of all, I'm going to ask you, Debs, do you like camping? I, it depends on the weather, to be honest. So oh. I know in this country that could be one way or the other, but I'm sure because I'm going to be camping with the power kids, it's going to be amazing camping. So yeah, I do. Do you have some wellies? <laughs> I, I want some wellies, yeah. You've got I some, got you? A whole year to get some wellies. They're very important. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, so what's your favourite meal? Oh, that's a very hard question, Sarah, but I'm going to go for something that I eat quite a lot of, and it's chilli con carne chili with con rice carne. and French bread. How do you feel about squirty cream that comes out of a can? Well, it depends where it goes, actually, Sarah, because... Uh -huh. On a trifle or a cream cake or chocolate, mm, really good. How do you feel about it being on like a plate in front of you that might go into your face? Is it, yes, well that's a different thing altogether, isn't it? Let's face it. Because we at Power Kids, we're really keen on something called the Leaders Challenge. And yes. it's one of our favourite things. This. Yeah, and we like to get cream cake in le cream in Leaders Hair. So just don't bother washing your hair. Will you? Just, just a, a last, what's one of my biggest tips about being a power kids leader? Is don't, don't wash your bother hair. washing your hair. Yeah. What for the whole of the camp? Yeah, the there's no the point. Camp. And when you're okay, dead, well, it smells of cream. Oh, lovely! Is that the only thing you're going to get in your hair, or can right. I expect other things? Oh, all sorts of things. Jelly, guys. We're going to have a leaders challenge. So you have to keep watching for the rest of this weekend because there will Ooh. be a leaders challenge, and you and will some, see some leaders. You. Yeah, you will yeah. see some of our leaders with cream. Well, I don't know whether if it's cream or other things, but it's going to be messy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if we did lots of superhero things last year. Um, yes, so I did. If you wanted to be a superhero, what would your favourite power be? I think I'm going to have to say I'd like to fly. It'd be really yeah. nice to be able to fly. Just, just. I've got a balcony where I live, and so I could just stand on the balcony and put my arm out and take off that would be great but i think that would be mine yep good definitely we'll fly together mine. one day then yeah awesome <laughs> okay, <so. laughs> when did you become a christian debs well actually i became a christian at something very similar to where we would have been at this weekend but we're not at a youth camp when i was seven years old so a long time ago but it was at a camp similar to where we would have been and will be next year that's cool. So if you're seven, jump up and yes. down seven times because that's a brilliant number to be, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Sir. So Debs found Jesus when she was seven. That is awesome. Yeah. And so we're thinking about being sent somewhere this year. So I know mm. you've been to some exciting places that are not just yes. in the festival. Yeah, that's um, true. Festival is one of the most exciting places there is. However, <laughs> where has God sent you? Well, I've been to a few places, but I think probably the most exciting place that some of you may not have been to, or you might have, um, is Africa, a place called Tanzania, which when God first asked us to go there, I didn't even know where it was. I had no idea where Tanzania was, but I soon found out. And so God sent us to Africa, and we had great adventures there. Our kids were six and seven when we went for the first time. Wow. So that's probably the most exotic place that we've been sent to. That sounds very exciting. And yeah. I think Debs will tell you lots and lots of yeah, stories. Yeah, I will. Yeah, when, she, when she's there next year. But you will see Debs because she's got a little talk to do for us later on. So she yes. will be here later on. So you'll be able to listen to her. So we're very excited to listen to that. Yeah. Um, so I the thing so. that we do, Debs, when we're in Power Kids is we get all our big voices out and we right. shout as loud as we can, and we shout power kids really loud, cool. so that everybody on the camp knows that we're there. Because we don't want yeah, people to miss us, you see? Because we're yeah, like really, really important, basically. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. And so, Power Kids, I wondered whether you could shout Power Kids really, really loudly because we don't want to miss out on this, do we? Okay, so I'm going to count to three and me and Debs are going to listen to see yes. if we can hear you shout in Power Kids. Okay, are you ready? I'm listening. One, two, three. Mm. Debs, could you hear that at your house? No, I didn't no, I, I didn't. I actually didn't hear anything at my house. Now we're no, going to have another no. go. Okay, one, two, three. Mm, little, I could hear a little bit, Famous. but it wasn't, still wasn't, still no, wasn't great. All right, great. we'll just try one more time, okay? Go on then, Really, more. really loudly, Power Kids, because we want kids. all your neighbours to hear you shouting Let's Power hear, Kids. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, oh yes, yes, I can hear wow, them. Oh, that's that so one. awesome. Nice. I got that one. Brilliant. Fantastic. So, Brilliant. guys, if your neighbours come round and say, what are you doing shouting? I want you to tell them all about Power Kids and all about Jesus and all about Elin Festival. You can invite them next week, next yeah. year, can't you? Brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll say goodbye, and we will all see you a little bit more throughout this weekend. All right, see you Take later. Kiss. Bye. 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 Welcome, everybody, to Elin Festival Sofa Chat. This is our... Our first little meeting, we're going to have lots of talks and worship and stuff throughout Ealing Festival, but we thought we'd start uh, tonight, this Friday evening, just chatting to a few people, having a little bit of a reminisce before we get stuck in. Don't forget we've got the quiz tonight and it's not too late to uh, get involved with that. Um, I've got changed from setup gear, as you can see. I thought it was a little bit smarter, but I'm with my really good mate, my old mucker, Andy Lenton, who, along with a, a few other guys, we're, we're, we spend a lot of time together laughing, bantering, encouraging one another and, and, and setting the festival up. Although Lenny tends to be able to kind of... Lenny's, Andy Lenton is more affectionately known as Lenny, for those of you who don't know. He manages to, um, I'm not going to say shirk, I'm just say drive around, really. But, <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> just the other, just the other day, this <laughs> week, yeah, me and John Hutchinson went up to the caravans where we store all the caravans. Yeah, and honestly, the weeds and the brambles were so high. We took oh my the, gosh, we took the hedge clippers. Oh, and welcome, we, we spent an hour and a half cutting down all these hedges and everything like that, <laughs> put, putting air in all the tires. And oh, John wow. said, John said, he says, "Boy, whoever's parked these has packed these in really tightly." And I said to him, "I said, Do you know what, John?" That's me on my own. Yeah, I said, exactly. I'm bringing all these caravans <laughs> up. All right, I say on my own. I better not, because Chris and Mike and Alan yeah. Wright do it as well. Yeah, but then yeah. they just they just dump them off, and I have yeah. to shuffle them about Absolutely. and negotiate right. them in and everything like that. And uh, I said, and I'm I come back, and then you all say, "Oh, you've been doing no, you've just been <laughs> riding the minibus." <laughs> Still, you're handling it well, mate. You're handling you know it well. But God sees what you do, doesn't he? Hallelujah. All on his own, <laughs> God mate, sees what you do. Mate, all joking aside, there's, there's a lot a lot that you do that people don't see. And that's the thing, isn't it, about Elon Festival? People arrive, it's all set said, up. It's what I said to my wife every day. There's a lot yeah. I do that you don't see. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is, mate. <laughs> no, none of it good, but it doesn't it matter, does it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> but, mate, you, you've been like, how many years have you been doing the Ealing Festival or Phrase Thorpe as it was? Because you went as a nipper, didn't you? I've been going now uh, since I was 11. Yeah. And I'm 54, so I'm no wow. good at maths. And in that time, I've missed only three years. One, because wow. it was, was cancelled and flooded. One, Remember because that? we had a baby. Yeah. And one, because I had a job that wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me come. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, so, like, I guess... 40, 40 years I've been coming to camp. It's not a bad effort, mate, really, is it, to be honest? I've seen a fair yeah. amount of rain. Yeah. <laughs> a fair 40 amount years of wind. with the rain in one week. <laughs> a fair amount of wind, a fair yeah. amount of mud. Yeah. But boy, do you know what? We've had some absolutely brilliant times. Haven't we just? We've had, we've had some um, absolute laughs. Yeah. We've had some absolute God things. Yeah, tell and me. The thing that keeps me coming every year... It's just seeing people getting saved. Yeah, people that's the coming thing, to know it? Jesus. Families turning up who don't even know Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and going away knowing Him. Amazing. And I mean, like you know, coming. what what people may not know is obviously you're significantly 
part of Healing Festival, but you, you're also, um, so I think it's associate pastor at Bridge Community Church in Leeds. And um, ev every year almost, if not every year, in your baptismal service, you might have a young person saying how well, the Healing Festival have played a significant part. I can't remember. We have, um, we have uh, about three baptism services every year. I can't remember a time when Fray Stop Camp or Ealing Festival has not been mentioned well wow. um, in in a, uh, a formative sense yeah. of a person coming to know Jesus. I mean that's staggering, really, isn't it? We t we talk a lot about prayer, uh, sorry about discipleship rather. We do talk a lot about prayer, but we talk a lot about discipleship, and, and at the moment it's like a big buzz word, isn't it? How can we disciple people? Would you say like? Ealing Festival plays and Freystock Camp before it was Ealing Festival. For people who don't know, uh, what is now Ealing Festival used to be called Freystock Camp. W would you say that that camp has played a key part of not just seeing people come to Christ, but a key part of them becoming disciples? You know what, in, in my own life, okay, the first year I came to camp, um, me and a bunch of lads from Rotherham yeah. burned, burned our tent down. <laughs> We, we were Wouldn't it be better burning somebody else's down? We were, we were always out in the middle of the night raising havoc yeah. and, um, and we set the tent on fire with a paraffin lamp. I mean, how we didn't get injured, I don't know. Uh, another year, probably the following year, it was just tipping it down for a fortnight. And yeah. so all the um, entertainments had to be done in the big marquee. Yeah, and the stage in that day was literally straw bales with like wooden sheets. I remember, on the top I of remember it, those wood. days, mate. <laughs> and uh, and me and a lad called, um, well, I'm not incriminating. I'll, uh, yeah, just a lad no from London. <laughs> We'd gone to the joke shop in Bridlington and bought some smoke bombs, <laughs> and we came back, and uh, we were outside the tent when it was tipped down. Everybody was in the main marquee, and we lit these smoke bombs and shoved them under the flat. <laughs> And of course, everybody thought these straw bales were on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody had to be evacuated out of the out of the big marquee. It was tipping it down with rain. And when they found out it was us setting these smoke bombs on, we were we were on early morning wash ups all all week. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, mate. That is awesome. Do you not feel a little bit hypocritical if ever you're challenging somebody for, for their behaviour at Ealing Festival? <laughs> no, because no, because God has a brilliant way of getting you back. Yeah, so, right. So when I was um, when I was a, a, a young pastor, yeah, and we came to camp. My first job that I did at camp was uh, emptying the toilets. Oh, and I, I say toilets; they were yeah. literally bu buckets with a loose seat on the top. We called them bola bola, didn't we back bola, in the bola. day, mate? <laughs> and me and Sammy Miller, me yes. and Sammy Miller, who's pastoring at uh, the Dowless Elim Church down in Wales, yeah. uh, he had a Morris Marina that Bob McDonald bought him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> who, who was a pastor in Bradford at the time. Yeah, and uh, we literally we got these buckets full from the toilets. We put them in the boot of his Morris Maria, oh. <laughs> and we set off down the field. No it was like this, <laughs> and literally by the time we got down to where we emptied these buckets into the the sewerage pit, the boot was full. Oh, that's so. Disgusting. What we did, we got a we got a drill. And we yeah. got underneath the car <laughs> and we drilled some drain holes in the boot of the car. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, and it was, it, what a job, what a job yeah. that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, so, you know, doing that job and now sort of like being involved in sort of like the adult ministry, yeah. not really yeah. any different. No, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, do you remember when we got promotion and got that Daihatsu little 4x4, four four, Ooh, mate? that was ace. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> mate, somebody was telling me, right, that they, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Tim Cobham, I can't remember. But somebody was telling me that those are quite expensive to buy now, mate. Yeah, they, they, collector's they items. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, was, that a, was, was a wicked little jeep. It was fantastic. It was superb, wasn't it? It was like, yeah. it's like a Tonka toy, wasn't it? But it was. I think we all learned. I think every single one of us learned to drive in that. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, isn't it? When when you look yeah. back, I remember. I remember the the bay hails and the the yeah. wood. I remember, I remember somebody falling off the back of one as well when it was the stage. Did you say? Did you say bay hails or hay bales? Bay hails, possibly. <laughs> 
<laughs> let's go with hay bales. Seen as that's what's <laughs> that right? Have I got that the right way? <laughs> oh man! I mean, mate, it's it's crazy fun. I, some of my genuinely, some of my fondest moments in my life have, have happened actually at Freystock Camp slash Ealing in festival. And I'm like, I'm honestly, genuinely, I'm gutted, mate. It's not happening. Yeah. I mean, like last year I got there, and as you know, mate, I don't like to go on about it, but I had a I had a heart attack, so I missed set up. Yes. And set down, yes. and, I, and so you, when I, you say miss set up, it got you out of a lot of work. Yeah, I know that. There is that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> missed. <laughs> <laughs> and mate, I was genuinely looking forward to to because it it's like it's like building something together. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And those five six days where we're grafting and we're tired and yeah, you know, we're 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 building that thing together, and then to see people rock onto the site and just all that that yeah. God does it, it's. Honestly, it's. I think, Andy, for me, it's it's certainly up there as one of the most rewarding things that I do in in yeah. my life and in my ministry. And the fact that I get to do it with my really close mates, like mm. like you, mate, just mm. is just a phenomenal way to to spend my life. It really, really is. Well, well, I would I would say that um, to to anybody um, coming to Ealing Festival is brilliant as a as a camp but if you can and you've got time to come and help set up as well yeah absolutely absolutely nothing more rewarding because it's brilliant boy i mean you work hard you do yeah. work hard and yeah. you've got to work hard because you're on a you're on literally a time limit this has to be ready for when people come yeah and it, it, it's you start with a, just an empty field yeah i don't think i don't think people realize that no absolutely by the time it's set up You've got full electrics. You've got full yeah, plumbing. Absolutely. You, you you've got things set out and, and and all sorts of things done. And yeah. we have absolutely worked from early morning till till late at night. And absolutely. Then, you know the great the great fellowship is when you're absolutely tired out at night and you're yeah. all sat around a little campfire or something yes, like that. Yes, absolutely. And you look right. up and there's like every star in the sky you can Amazing, see because there's, there's no light pollution there. Absolutely. And you just you just having a, an absolute ball with, yeah. with your mates no, and, then, absolutely. and then when it starts you are tired but you, yeah. s you have such a deep sense of satisfaction knowing yeah. god's going to do stuff now absolutely we've we've, we've we've paved the way for god to do stuff definitely but actually definitely. what what actually has been happening is god's been doing stuff in you while you've been yeah working yeah hard, absolutely been, mate while you've been making friends and everything yeah. like that yeah it, it's just fantastic so i would really recommend absolutely. it Anybody. On so many levels, mate, it's worth coming along, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, well, absolutely. we're going to be chatting to, or I'm going to be chatting to a few more of the, the people from Ealing Festival. But, Andy, thanks so much for your time, mate. Bless you. God bless. Good in. Bye, Mark. Bye, mate. So, I'm joined here tonight with the Hutchinson family. Give us a wave. Yay! It, look, it looks like a scene out of Gogglebox in your house, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like... So hopefully you, won't, hopefully you won't throw insults at Ealing Festival online over the weekend. But if you do, we should record you. But how are you all doing? Are you good? Yes, yeah, good, thank you. Yes. Excellent. I, that was almost together as well. That was really good. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, for, for people that are fairly new... Uh, or, or never been before to Elim Festival, which I hope people are watching from that. We, we're trying with these interviews just to give them a little bit of a, an experience of what it's like, but also like, why have you lot, or why on earth have you lot kept coming back? You, I probably shouldn't ask you this question because you might not even have an answer. You might just say, <laughs> yeah, why do we just keep coming back year on year to do this? But why, why do you, I mean, like, Gemma and Amy. Gemma, give us a sh give us a show of hands for people. Amy, Sandra, and John. <laughs> of course, we know that is now. Um, <laughs> but like you, you have been coming as as kids, uh, Gemma and Amy. Has, has that not like put you off? Because like now you're coming back as workers. Like <laughs> surely you must have had enough bad experiences to put you off. You'd think that, wouldn't you? I don't know. You would. You would. <laughs> been brought up with it trained in the ways yeah like i learned to ride a bike i think at camp i learned to walk at camp yeah you were dedicated <laughs> at camp. yeah Gemma mm -hmm. was dedicated at camp no way really at first yeah. Off, yeah yeah wow 
Amy's been uh, every year of her life. She's never missed. Committed. Look at that commitment. Maybe you should be. You come in every year of your life. <laughs> <laughs> and Deborah missed one because she went to Kenya to do a month's mission. Oh, you're allowed to do that. Still, I still called camp though whilst I was there, didn't I? I called yeah. everyone and got them yeah. to pass the phone around so I could speak so to people. 28 years, 26 years. John wow. and I, 36 years we've been going. 36 years, that is yeah. crazy. And yeah. like you've had, you've had you, is it your wedding anniversary you celebrate uh, every year? Yeah, every every year. year. Every, every year. Every year. I mean, technically you do have a wedding anniversary every year, so you might as well yeah. celebrate it. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. that, like, you didn't get married there as well, did you, by any chance? No, so it's like. got married the year before. Okay. In the July, and we came to camp a year later, and that was the first time we'd ever been. No yeah. way. Been every year since. Every year. And have you, have you gone up to Whitby every year for your walk and fish and chips as well? Um, most. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Last year we went to Durham. Yeah. But we'll be go we're going back to Whitby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> For anybody <laughs> from Durham watching, it's a lovely place. It's just, <laughs> it's lovely. It's it's the well. <laughs> just not yeah. it's the fish and chips. It's just the fish and chips, that's all. If they could sort that out. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell can you remember like I mean that year when um I don't know how old Gemma and Amy you were at this, but that year when this like kind of stop not it wasn't a storm was it it was almost oh, like uh, <coughs> yeah. yeah yeah it, do you remember that when it yes. ripped through the camp yeah you, you saw it track all the way across the thing just in a straight line and everything in that line decimated Gone. Yeah. Gone. it was bonkers that, that was the year that uh, it actually blew down one of the main marquees mm. uh, in the evening and yeah this, this just shows what the team are, are like at, at, uh, at camp but yeah. the marquee was decimated, and then yeah, in the next morning, a group of people had got up uh, through the night and started breakfast so that everybody still had a cooked breakfast the next Amazing. morning. Amazing. Yeah. That's what it's like. We still, we still don't know who made that breakfast. I want to reveal it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, some, a team got up yeah. and cooked, mm -hmm. and we had a cooked breakfast, even though everything... And its path had gone. Yeah. Everything, yeah. I mean, it, it is amazing, and I think you, you're dead right, actually, because it that is one of the standout things, isn't it, about Ealing Festival? Mm -hmm. You've got just some people who are just like behind the scenes. It's yeah. not it's not superstars. No. It's just a whole bunch of people who've just got a very apart from Lenny, who've got a very <laughs> very positive <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it is incredible, isn't it? That's the sort of thing that happens, really. Yeah, we we see it, and and I think I speak as a family. Yeah. We see it as a mission every year. That's yeah. why we do it. That because of the difference that we've seen in people's lives year on year. Yeah. And you see, like the girls come yeah. with babies, and yeah. now they're working, and they're now inputting. They're Absolutely. Now helping people to grow. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a mission for us, definitely. <laughs> year on year, it's a mission. One hundred percent. A great team that we work with. It is, yeah. isn't it? You're right. I was saying, I was saying to Lenny, we were sort of chatting about how it, it was a brilliant um, way of helping people to become disciples. But also, if you think about like your girls, they're like they're leaders now yeah. in healing festivals. Yeah. So they've yeah. like come as a kid, they've become Christians. Yeah, they've been disciples, but now they're actually leading different yeah. areas in the festival, which is amazing, isn't it? Really, yeah. it's unique. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And even in their uh, early years, they got experiences at camp that you might not get at other places to yeah. express themselves and to take those extra steps to becoming leaders. Yeah, no, absolutely, 100%. You what, Gemma, sorry? It's getting the opportunity at camp. Yes. You get given yeah. opportunities you wouldn't otherwise. You could, we, we, went, we weren't even old enough to be workers yet, but we would go to yeah. kids and we would say, well, when it used to be with kids, it's um, power, kids. power kids now um, and say can can we help and they'd yeah. like, come in on a morning and be part of the team and even just like we'd do puppet shows or yeah things like yeah. that and um and you get the opportunity to get stuck in in yeah. a way that maybe you wouldn't you don't have to work quite around all the all the fancy paperwork and stuff in a, in a place of employment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You want to have a go? Okay, yeah, come and have a go. Then. Yeah, like I did 
I did my first preach in life set at 16. Yay! <laughs> and I was, it, I was terrified and it went off, <laughs> but I did it. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah, and it was just like, there were people my age, like I'd seen people doing that and then yeah. suddenly I found myself doing it. Um, Brilliant. And I've been there ever since. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think, I think as well, Amy, what that just prompts something in me that sometimes at uh, Ealing Festival, you, you see opportunities where you think, oh, I'd like to have a go at that and you can have opportunity for that. But actually, sometimes you just pushed right into stuff that you would never think in a million yeah. years that I, I don't want to have a go at that. You thrust yeah. in there, and I'm, hang on a second, how did I end up doing this? But all of a sudden, you see God use you, don't you? Yeah, yeah, Literally, yeah. every time I'm stood there preaching, I'm like, I don't. When did I agree to this? I don't <laughs> agree to this. But yeah. here we are. Yeah, I do that every time I preach as well, which is a bit funny, <laughs> isn't it? But, <laughs> How on earth did I end up doing this? I'm like, <laughs> crazy. Well, we're but, often saying, who let you? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wise question to ask, to be honest. <laughs> it really is. What, what would you say to, to people um, who, who may be kind of watching this, who, who've never never been to Eden Festival? What, what would you say is, is a, w would be a good reason to come and even think about like bringing your family or, or your, even your friends that, that maybe don't know Jesus? I mean, what, what, what positive experience could it be for that? Gemma, maybe you tell us a little bit about a, a friend of yours. You don't need to, to name her who came along who, who wasn't a Christian but was, was quite impacted by the festival, wasn't she? Yeah, well, when I was at uni, I... Um... I would always talk about the stuff I did with church and things like that. Yeah. And obviously, the Ealing Festival was a, is a big part of my life. It's the first thing I make sure I book up, off from work and things like that. Yeah. And so I would talk about it a lot and I would talk about different things that happened. Um, some of the times where we may be going to trouble for things we shouldn't have been doing or yeah. just, <laughs> just all the good memories. And um, yeah. I must have talked about it enough that my, <laughs> my friend said, that sounds really good. And I said, oh, you should come, thinking she won't want to come or anything. <laughs> and, um, next thing I know, she was asking me for more details and we were working out the logistics of it. And before I knew it, we were picking her up at the train station <laughs> near the site. Um, yeah. The camp. And she came and she got stuck in. She helped in the cookhouse with me. Um, yeah. And she came for two years, for the final two years of uni. Yeah. Uh, and it just... She, she had... A background in faith, yeah, uh, but wouldn't have necessarily called herself Christian. I don't believe at yeah. the time. Yeah, uh, and she just loved it, and right. she loved meeting new people, getting stuck in. We had a right laugh. It was when we were celebrating fifty years of Elon Festival, <laughs> and um, we were yeah, yeah. At a dance party in the kitchen whilst we were <laughs> celebration yeah. meal for everyone. Um, yeah. and it was really good, and she she loved it. And about two years after that, we were at set up week for Elon Festival and mm. we're having we have like a little time of devotion at meal times yeah. and yeah. just as whoever it was was speaking I got a text from her um just letting me know that she was still going to Great. church where she was living now and Brilliant. actually on that Sunday she was going to be getting baptized so good uh, which when I first suggested that she came to camp um to where to get in that text I never thought that yeah. would be sort of progression of what yeah right um but it was it was amazing really just to know amazing Elon festival had been a part of that journey yeah yeah that. cool i remember that text arriving actually yeah. it was it was amazing wasn't it and so john and sandra why why would you encourage people to, you you ought to be able to find a reason because like 30 <laughs> odd years <laughs> you've run out of reasons not to come after that time haven't you so so why why would you say to people, look, come along, give it a whirl, maybe maybe invite invite your church, invite your friends or whatever, come as a worker, come as a camper. What what would you what would you say to encourage people to, to do that? Well, there's a variety of reasons. I, I can remember somebody visiting and that said that they've never been anywhere like it before. They've been to other camps, but what was different about uh, Elam Festival was that it was a community. Yeah. In yeah. Fact, to me, camp is is a community. It's a family, and yeah. and it's just you go, go go there and you make so many friends, so many connections. The teaching is off the scale. Yeah, yeah. Levels. Uh, one of the things that I love is after setting up. 
for a week. Yeah. When, when the camp kicks in and actually starts, is going round all the marquees. And when yeah. you see the creativity. Absolutely. The talent. And, and the way that they, they make each tent vibrant from, yeah. from the note to threes through to the yeah. app. It's, it's just phenomenal. And then the yeah. fun things that, we, that, that go on throughout the day. I can remember having a, a big slide, uh, well, plastic tarpaulin, and it was just water and squeezy bottle, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just kids, adults, just sliding along this thing. People yeah. were with the deck chairs, step, you know, to, to, to watch it all. It, yeah. it's, just, it's just got everything going for it. And it, it's, it's a place where you can just feel accepted, uh, yeah. feel part of, enjoy the fun, enjoy the teaching in the hub at night, you know, getting a pizza or a yeah. curry or, you know. Yeah. It's just got so much going for it. And I, I just, yeah. as I say, it's a community. It's a family. And Absolutely. It's heart. No, it's indeed. And Absolutely. It's a, yeah. Definitely. Sandra, you get the last word. <laughs> ah, um, Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what I would say to people is, if they're considering coming, is yeah. to, to come with an open mind, really. Yeah. Um, We've always said that you either love camp or you hate it. There yeah. doesn't seem to be middle ground on it in the sense. Yes. But but just be prepared to <clears throat> to get stuck in. Yeah, not, good. Not not wait wait for people. Just yeah, get no, I get that. Out. Because what sometimes what's sort of said is that oh well nobody approached me or nobody yeah. just come with an open mind thinking yeah, good. you know what let me just. It, to give as well as to, you know, to expect. Yeah. Do, do you know what I'm trying to say? I do. No, absolutely. I'm very open to, um, um, do you know what, I'm going to come and if I can serve anywhere, you know. Yeah. I, I oversee the cookhouse. Yeah. And I would say to people, do you know what, if you come and you're at a loose end, come to yeah. the cookhouse store and I'll find you something to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's true. Got, got to come not thinking, I'm just going to sit here and wait for everybody to make yeah. a fuck of me and pamper me because... To be fair, it, it, is a, it is hard work. It is, yeah. As a worker, it is yeah. hard work. And yeah. sometimes those people don't always have that time to make yeah, it. Yeah, no, absolutely. But we will be very friendly. I would yeah. say that. We will be friendly. Yeah. We will answer any questions. But come ready to give as well. That's as good. I'm going to get what I can from it as well. It's a, it's yeah. a really good cool. No, I think I think you're right. Absolutely, the more you put in, the more you get out of it. With, with camp. And whilst that's true of lots of things, it's definitely, definitely so true of Ealing Festival. Well, listen, thank you so much to all of you for taking time off Gogglebox. Really appreciate <laughs> it. And, uh, <laughs> it's really good to see you all, and uh, thank God you. bless. And bye. 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 Well, welcome, Jen. How are you? <laughs> I'm so well, thank you. You're right. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm just checking out your little fairy lights behind. Oh, do that. you like them? I do. It's very Ealing Festival esque, <laughs> or, or or maybe Ealing Festival is inspired by your fairy lights. Oh, what a paradox there! What a paradox! <laughs> Par Tell somebody who's studying theology. What a paradox! <laughs> That's right. So how how how's life for you? How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. Nothing to report, really. Just writing a lot of essays. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> so you're, as we chat, you're um, in Chester finishing off your MA, master's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very clever girl. Oh, I hope so. I hope it works out in the end. Yeah, so do your parents, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the one dishing out the money for this. Exactly. Lesson. Speaking of dishing, nice little, <laughs> nice little movie to talk about your parents. So... I know you're going uh, uh, oh, well, professional as ever, a professional, <laughs> or oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, I know you, you're really looking forward to going back home to sampling some of your mum's home cuisine. Mm. Look, I That's can see it. you're thinking about it right now, aren't you? I Mark, you don't know. It's phenomenal. In fact, <laughs> we're in this chat and she can tell you all about it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. Is there a particular dish? Like when you, when you get home, if, if your mum rung you up today and said, what do you want for your first meal when you get home? What would it oh. be? <laughs> Have you heard of a biryani? I love biryani, yeah. That's it. That's all I want with a bit of yogurt, with a bit of pickle. Um, is there anything else? No, that's it. Keeping Perfect. it simple. Baked in, the, baked in the oven. 
I mean, I don't wish to steal your moment, but but would it be appropriate for me to join you all for that meal? Do you think? Oh or? yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, you can, you can come along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you so said that, going. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Just let me get it home first. Let me enjoy it. <laughs> Turn it oh. off accidentally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it didn't, it didn't cook in time. But. <laughs> now, Jen, you you've been to Eden Festival a, a fair few times. You've you've come as a worker. What what yeah, is yeah. it that you that you like about it? Why do you come and because mm. did you come in? Do you come in your tent? Yeah, we come in a that's tent. That, like, I come in a caravan. I mean, like you're proper hardcore, mate. You don't. Even, there's a story behind the tent as well. Okay. We were, like we'd just come into the UK. I was six years old, and yeah. we found out about Elon Festival. Um, yeah. And and we didn't we didn't know what Elon was. We didn't know what festivals were, especially, yeah. and we didn't know what camping was either. Um, All right. <laughs> so <laughs> we. <laughs> So dad buys a tent and the tent is for, for four men. Um, yeah. But it's like the tiniest, it's, <laughs> it's deceptive. It's a really deceptive tent when we buy it. And it's this little blue thing um, oh and we pitch gosh. it up. And four of us, so my older brother was there, me and my parents, we all just squeeze in. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there was a really kind couple who, uh, who offered us their tent. Um, no way. And we've just kept it on for, for as long as ever. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, it's a phenomenal story, actually. They just gave it to us and we were like, what a blessing, what a blessing. That is that. amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So that we, is what, do you know what, that is a little bit like what people at Ealing Festival are like. It's quite a community, isn't it? Honestly, yeah. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Well, yeah. Welcome to England, then, with that kind of... <laughs> this is your holiday. <laughs> I, I guess it rained. Uh, did it rain that year? Possibly, yeah, it probably did. Probably. I think you know a lot, lot of statistics. It it probably did, didn't it? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Well, it must have made an impact on you to yeah, keep coming up that Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. We've kept that tone forever, and um, the relationship that we have with that couple as well as a family, it's so tight because of it. Just yeah, yeah. Such a yeah, such a kind thing to have happened in our first year, um, it? and it really set the precedent for the rest of the years. That's amazing. So you were six? Six years old, yeah. Okay. And now I'm 22, so 16 years. So you've been coming for 16 years? Yeah, to yeah, on festival. and off. That's mm -hmm. amazing, isn't it? So you obviously came as a kid, but then more recently you, you came as a, a worker in, in Junction. So why did you yeah. want to, why did you want to, I mean, it's one thing like coming and camping on a, on a field for a holiday. Mm -hmm. It's quite another one coming yeah. and doing that and working why why did you want to do that for sure yeah actually I think when I first came when I was a f my first working job um in at Elam camp was in the kitchen um okay, yeah. and it was it was highly intense and I just wanted to I wanted to do it to see if I could hack it almost yeah um and then I was given the opportunity to work in Junction and that as well was just me really wanting to see if I had the skill set yeah okay um, cool if I could be a role model if I could um minister to the young people there um yeah so that's why i primarily joined up and then after that came the fun came the community came the family um, yeah. and I, I stuck around after that yeah yeah and so it's amazing that's interesting what you said because i think one of the strengths of Elim festival is mm. yeah it can give you an opportunity to do something for god that you're good at or that you know you can do yeah. but actually it also gives you an opportunity to, 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 to learn some skills, to discover some new stuff. That, that's clearly what's yeah. been the case for you. Yeah, 100%. Because I think at the age of 18, I hadn't really jumped into anything yet. So right. Alien Fest really gave me the opportunity to um, widen my horizons in that way and see if, see if I could do it. I, I love the tent story, and we may have peaked early doors in this little chit-chat, but <laughs> is, is there any other kind of... Um, like moments if, if mm. you like that funny moments or, or serious moments it doesn't it doesn't have to go one or the other but any moments mm. that kind of you know some some like I was chatting with a with a couple of people um last night and we were just reflecting over loads of stuff that have, yeah. like happened some of them like really deep and spiritual mm. some of them very shallow but <laughs> but actually, yeah, yeah. they all build up this kind of story and these experiences about Eden Festival. So, yeah. are there any that that you can that you can? Yeah, remember? there's there's some I recall. I think one is when and <laughs> it's it's crazy actually. Um, one is where uh, I hadn't become a leader of Junction yet, so I was part of the young people's yeah, yeah. part of the 
part of the group. Um, yeah. And Ben Reed introduced introduced us to a game called El Gibbo. I don't know if you've played it. If you've I have it. not even <laughs> heard of it yet, let alone play. But I want to hear about it. <laughs> it's not I, can't, I couldn't even tell you the rules because it's okay. it's so simple um you just throw a tennis ball at each other like with in high speed um okay. and you, <laughs> you have to catch it and the thing is <laughs> like it's 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 mad because it's now become like a legacy that ben has passed yeah. on yeah. and every year since i've been a leader we play it um it'll yeah. be the way that we kick off junction yeah um yeah it's yeah it's it's whenever i think about how many times i've been hit <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the painful experience <laughs> the yeah. painful memory um Absolutely. yeah so there's one um another one that uh, comes to mind actually and i was thinking about this the other day um it was an open mic night and yeah. uh there was a uh, i don't i forgot who it was but there was a guy who started off saying um yeah i'm gonna sing a song uh and um it's from my travels in japan uh etc etc and he started talking about like all the culture in japan um yeah. and then he started singing the song and it was the pokemon theme <laughs> the pokemon theme, theme tune <laughs> and brilliant. me and my friends were just like yeah brilliant absolutely brilliant um the creativity that comes out of elon camp phenomenal it is so, yeah, it, a... it, it genuinely is phenomenal isn't it there's some brilliant people there absolutely. and they are they are really strong memories aren't they that you just mm. remember for for years and years and years yeah well there's hopefully people uh, engaging with the festival this weekend online mm. but obviously we're devo that we can't be there together i mean yeah. i i think i'm probably one of Ealing family festival's biggest fans i love it Bless um, you. but at, at least we can be online together but uh, next year we'll be back but what would you say to anybody who's listening in that's maybe Ne never been to in a festival or maybe even maybe even never been camping i mean mm. w what would be your encouragement to mm. them to come and maybe bring their family or people from their church or, yeah. or even just rock up themselves what would you yeah. say to them again uh, just jump in i would say jump in there's there's people there always just wanting to welcome you with open arms the, it's yeah. so friendly so kind so welcoming um think of it as like a family that you're entering rather than rather than just strangers that you're not quite sure of yet. Yeah, so yeah. I definitely yeah. encourage anyone and everyone to, to join if they can. That's brilliant. I love that. Think of it as a family that you're entering. That's a great line. <laughs> you thought about going into marketing, something like that? <laughs> Could do, yeah, sales, yeah. Yeah, I do. and listen, when, when I rock up on, and you and I both arrive at your home on the same day, you from yeah. university, mm -hmm. you know, me from down here, just... Think of it as a family that I'm entering. Sure, okay. yeah, yeah. And welcome Very well with soon. open arms. <laughs> Please come in, Mark Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, yeah that's brilliant. Jen, thank you so much for taking some time out, and I hope the last cool. bit of your studies go really, really well. Yeah, thank pray for me. I pray you could do this, girl. You got it. See you, mate. God bless. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Cool, we're done. <laughs> Brilliant. I just wanted to put that fake pause in so I could put it. Sure. But, yeah, that was brilliant. Thank you so much, Jen. That's exactly You're what welcome. we needed. Really okay, cool. appreciate it. All right. Cool. Okay, all right. Take care, mate. Speak yeah, to you soon. See you later. See yeah. you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. And the final guest this evening on this opening night of Ealing Family Festival online is my daughter, Robin. Yay! Hello. Oh. Hello. Can't you give me a <laughs> yay? Hey. Yay. Ooh. Yes, ooh, sir. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, nice to have you on here. Nice to be on here, Mark. Good. Now, make sure you're nice to all the people watching rather than just using it as an opportunity to shame me publicly. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, you've been coming to Ealing Festival ever since you were, right, hang a second, May, June, July, like four months old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see those extra maths lessons of help. three months. Well, you were born at the end of April, so May, June, July, all right then, four months, three months. We're both right. Yeah, we're both right. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we've had these tense moments before in our relationship. <laughs> so, yeah, you've been coming to Ealing Festival then basically for like all, pretty well all your life, haven't you? Yeah. So, and, so 
I know you might feel that you've got to say this, but do you, do you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. It's the highlight of my year. Yay. Does it, is it the highlight of the year because you're staying in a caravan? or? Um, oh, because I get to see people I only see like once a year and it's just the, the um, vibe is so good. Not because you get to spend lovely time with your mum and dad. Sure, why not? <laughs> we'll go with it. We'll go, we'll go with that. We'll go with it. We'll go with that. So tell us, tell us what a day looks like for Robin Greenwood, for your average young person at Ealing Family Festival. Okay, well, so I wake up in the morning. Yeah, good start. And sometimes I'll go for a run. But yeah. I mean, most people don't, but I do. Yeah. And then... <laughs> I will go to breakfast in the hub with everybody else. In your pyjamas? Yeah, or in sports gear. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I will go back to the caravan for a bit. Yeah. And then... We don't need to do it minute by minute. <laughs> <laughs> go to live set the morning meeting. That's good. Do some stuff in the hub, like badminton, then play, then go to lunch. Yeah. Do an afternoon activity, have dinner, yeah. and yeah. then go to the evening meeting and live set, and then chill out in the hub and have like pizza and food. So tell us a little bit about the hub, because people that might be watching Elim Family Festival online who've never been, what's the, what's the hub like? The hub's like a big, like indoor space, like a but Barney thing, but it's, yes. it, and it's got loads of like pizza place. It, it's got like a pizza place, coffee. Loads of pizza stuff. places. Oh, just yeah, one. It's just for one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's like badminton, table tennis, uh, tables. Tables. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Just a big, like nice place where you can just hang out. It's, it's cool. Chill. And what, what, what other sorts of things do you do? If, if there's, if you're not in the hub, are there any like after meetings and stuff like that? Um, like open mic night, for example. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> ever the professional here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We just attend like uh, last year. I remember Mark Ritchie did a night, didn't he? Yeah. Um, right, so yeah. just go with some of my friends. We'll go and hang out, do watch open mic night, watch Mark Ritchie do his thing. Just yeah. Whatever it has to offer, really. It's normally yeah. a laugh, so. It's normally quite good, isn't it? Yeah. And you say you say it's the highlight of your year. What 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 is it that you think? If so, like this year, we're not we're not having we're having it online. We're not having it in real. What is the thing that you're gonna miss the most this year? That would be one of those things that makes it the highlight of the year. Do you know that? I mean, I think it's just the feeling. There's a certain yeah. feeling that you associate with camp, and it's not just seeing my friends because I see my friends yeah. at other points throughout the year, yeah. and it's a great time to just like reevaluate where you are with God at that time as well. But it's yeah. just a feeling of you go, as soon as you're on that field, you just breathe. It's like a, it's like a sigh of relief. It's just like, I'm here yes. again. It's like a, it's a safe place where you've yeah. got friends, family, yeah. um, and you've just got people around you who genuinely care about you and want to yeah. give you the best time. It's just that, that right. feeling is what creates yeah. that for me. No, I like it. I like what you say there. Cause you're dead right. You do, you get on the field and you go, Hello, old friend. Don't yeah, you? exactly. It, yeah, that, that's that's really really good. There is that just that familiar space. It, yeah. it's safe. It's family. That's a that's a brilliant explanation. Definitely. Um, really really good. So, Robin, if there were people, and hopefully they are listening to Ealing Family Festival online, uh, maybe particularly tonight. Um, what and uh, maybe never been. They might not have been to a Christian festival. They might not have even been camping, but. What would you say to them in terms of like come along to Ealing Festival? Would you what would what would you encourage them to do that? Um, yeah, I'd definitely encourage them to come along. I mean, it's whether you're new or not, I know loads of people who have come, maybe it's been their first year and they've enjoyed it so much. It's just that as I said before, it's that feeling of having people around you who care about you. It's not you're not gonna come and even if you don't know anybody, like I go to a church which is far away from everybody else who goes there and I'm the mm. only one along with my sister who goes yeah. to that church but I never feel left out of it I have so many yeah. friends so oh, it's great I mean, it's 
don't ever feel that just because you don't you're not going with friends and people you know that you'll not enjoy it as much there's just yeah. so many people around you to that are just there to support you and you just have such a good time you'll make new friends it's great definitely come along that's brilliant robin thank you so much and where do i send the money to for doing this <laughs> um <laughs> nowhere's the answer <laughs> you're not getting anything <laughs> yeah but seriously robin thank you so much for taking time out to do this it, it's really really helpful thank you so Anytime. much bye, bye. See, you you much. <laughs> see you <laughs> thank you for joining us on this friday evening it is time to grab a cuppa grab a hot chocolate and get ready for our pre-quiz hangout over on zoom at 8 30 p.m if you're not joining us for the quiz then we will see you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock that's on our elon festival facebook page Elin Festival YouTube channel. We are going to have so much fun tomorrow. So have a good night and we'll see you in the morning. Bye.